Okay, let's try to get an understanding of the empirical rule and this whole thing that you're doing standardizing to a z-score. So it says, suppose the population average time it takes a machine to learn an image is three seconds. So that would be my population standard deviation. I'm sorry, my population mean with a standard deviation. So the population standard deviation of about 0.35 seconds. You go out and you get a random sample, so a sample mean of 3.8 seconds. The question is, would you consider that unusual? So what we want to do is we want to take our population mean and standardize it to zero. And then that way we would know how far this 3.8 is from the actual mean. So the first thing I probably would do is just get my z-score. So I take my sample minus my population over my standard deviation. And if you calculate that with rounding, you should get 2.29. So let's talk about the empirical rule. The empirical rule states if you are one standard deviation above the mean, so that would be what, 3 plus 3.5, or 0.35, sorry, 3.5, and then below would be 3 minus 0.35, which would be 2.65. So we would expect 68% of the data to be within there. Well, that's further out. So let's see if we're two standard deviations. So two standard deviations, what you do is you take the mean minus two times your standard deviation, and then the mean plus two times your standard deviation, and if you do that, you will see below you get 2.3. And above two standard deviations, you get 3.7. And that's 95% of your data. So as I can see, that this makes sense because this is saying I'm a little bit more than two standard deviations. And then, of course, you could complete this and do three standard deviations, 3 times 0 0.35, and get 4.05. And you could also find the lower by 3, sorry about that, minus 3 times 0 0.35, and get 1.95. And that would be 99.7% of your data. And so if you have something past three standard deviations, um, either above or below, that certainly would be unusual. So in other words, if you found a machine was learning quicker than a second, that's very unusual. If you're finding a machine that's taking more than four seconds, that's very unusual. And so this is why we like to standardize to first understand the empirical rule and then to be able to take something like my um, z-score and then say, well, what actually would the probability be that I would expect to find a machine that learns 3.8 seconds or less or 3.8 seconds or more? And this is where you can use your Python code. Let me get rid of all that there. This is where you can use your, your code. So all I did was define my variables, my population mean, my population standard deviation, my sample mean. I just printed a new line to put some space over here. I got my z-score by my x-bar minus my mu over sigma. And I printed out my z-score. And then, as I mentioned, if I wanted to know the probability that I would expect to get a value of 3.8 seconds or less is a very high probability. Now, if what the probability would be that I would expect to get something more than 3.8 seconds, now you're starting to get into that would be kind of unusual and a very small probability.